All right, so what do we got here? We got week 13. It's a Monday. Uh, we're supposed to get a big snowstorm coming in. How many How many of you believe that's going to happen? Uh, whatever. Whatever. All right. Spaghetti. One person. Spaghetti. All right, here we go. You ready? Hey. All right, very good. So, we have our sentences. Let's get it. Thir week 13, we're already on week 13, day one. It says, a girl in my class named Anna told me about their pogo stick. Hmm. Hmm. What are some things we need to do right off the right off the rip? Joshua, go ahead. Anna should be capitalized. Anna, Anna should be capitalized, yeah. You know what, though? Before I get into all that, I am going to do this. So before I do that, I'm going to do this. Girl in my class named Anna. We need to capitalize that. Why? Why do we capitalize it? What, what, what is Anna? What is it? It's a name, but what do we call it? What type of noun? It is a proper noun. Everyone is raring to go on a Monday. I love it. A girl in my class named Anna. Anna should be capitalized. A girl in my class named Anna told me about their pogo stick. Hmm, it should be her, right? It's got a match, right? A girl in my class named Anna told me about her pogo stick. Um, yeah, I think we're good, right? I'm screencasting right now, homie. Oh, yeah, homeboy. Homie. What about the next one? Anna said, if you like to, you may jump on it, but don't hurt herself. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go right, right after yourself, right? That doesn't, okay. So we're going to say yourself. All right, who can tell me where the tagline is? Raise your hand. Tell me where the tagline is. Tagline. Come on. I need to see more hands than that. I'm going to call on someone who's hiding from me now. Let's see. Who is that down on the floor there? Uh, Baher, go up and tell me the part of the sentence that tells us who's speaking. It's the tagline. Go. Anna said. Very good. That's the tagline. Who said it? Anna. Anna did. Now, this is the speaking part. It is in quotes. Do you see that? What did Anna say? Well, she said this. If you like to, hmm, how about we add a word in? If you'd, oh, that's what it said. If you'd like to, that's fine. If you'd like to, but what do we need though? If we're going to do the contraction, you would, contracted to you, what do we need when you do a contraction? Huh? It's not a comma. I think I, what is it called, you guys? Apostrophe. apostrophe. And it goes right here. Right here. An apostrophe, right? So, if you'd like to, you may jump on it, comma, but don't hurt yourself. I think we're good now, okay? Uh, go ahead, Chubby. If you'd like to, no, I like it there. If you'd like to, you may jump on it, but don't hurt yourself. I think it's a dependent clause if you'd like to. Are we good? I think we're good. Let's keep rolling. Complete the sentence with the word that is most precise. To jump without falling, I had to stay on the pogo stick. No, no. That's just okay. So you stayed up there, but balance tells what you did to stay up there, right? Yeah. yeah all right. So balance is the word, right? Is the more precise word, right? All right. Underline another word for hopeful. So what do we need? Another word would be a what? Another word for ho hopeful would be synonym, right? I was encouraged when I jumped three times in a row. I was encouraged when I jumped three times in a row. What word is another word for hopeful? Encouraged. encouraged. There you go. All right. That is week 13, day one. DLR, Tadero out.